Your love, O Lord, reaches to the heavens, and your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the strong mountains, your justice like the great deep. You save both man and beast, O Lord. How priceless is your love, O God. Your people take refuge under the shadow of your wings. They feast upon the abundance of your house. You give them drink from the river of your delights. For with you is the well of life, and in your light we see light. Continue your loving kindness to those who know you, and your favor to those who are true of heart. Today, we remember Elred of Rivaux, abbot and theologian. Elred was born in 1109 into a family which had long been the treasurers of the shrine of Cuthbert of Lindisfarne at Durham Cathedral. While still a youth, he was sent for education in upper-class life to the court of King David of Scotland, son of Queen Margaret. The king's stepsons, Simon and Waldef, were his models and intimate friends. But after intense disillusion and inner struggle, Aylred went to Yorkshire, where he became a Cistercian monk at the Abbey of Rivaux in 1133. Aylred soon became a major figure in English church life. Sent to Rome on diocesan affairs by Archbishop William of York, he returned by way of Clairvaux. Here he made a deep impression on Bernard, who encouraged the young monk to write his first work, Mirror of Charity, on Christian Perfection. In 1143, Aylred led the founding of a new Cistercian house at Revesby. Four years later, he was appointed abbot of Rivaux. By the time of his death in 1167, the abbey had more than 600 monks, including Elred's biographer and friend, Walter Daniel. During this period, Elred wrote his best-known work, Spiritual Friendship. Friendship, Elred teaches, is both a gift from God and a creation of human effort. While love is universal, freely given to all, Friendship is a particular love between individuals, of which the example is Jesus and John, the beloved disciple. As abbot, Elred allowed his monks to hold hands and give other expressions of friendship. In the spirit of Anselm of Canterbury and Bernard of Clairvaux, Elred writes, There are four qualities that characterize a friend, loyalty, right intention, discretion, and patience. Right intention seeks for nothing other than God and natural good. Discretion brings understanding of what is done on a friend's behalf and ability to know when to correct faults. Patience enables one to be justly rebuked or to bear adversity on another's behalf. Loyalty guards and protects friendship in good or bitter times. Let us pray. Grant to your people, Almighty God, a spirit of mutual affection, that following the example of your servant, Elred, we might know the love of Christ in loving one another and might rejoice in the gift of your eternal goodness. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.